Slasa, a condiment that is said to change your life. Today, I'll be talking to the owner of this brand as she dives into her experience on Shark Tank. Julie Busher is a tenacious, determined owner of Slasa, a modern day condiment. Slasa is the condiment that will change your life. Think about a cross between a slaw, cabbage base, and a salsa with heat undertones. Um, so it is a cabbage based relish with a little bit of a kick. It's all natural, fat free, cholesterol free, gluten free, really low in sodium and kosher. Slasa brings sweet heat to your favorite dishes. The cross between slaw and salsa adds extra flair to any celebratory occasion. Slaw is fantastic, especially this time of year, because it is still grilling and tailgating season. We have rival week coming up. We've got Thanksgiving coming up. So I made some slaw some deviled eggs so it can go in recipes, deviled eggs, potato, uh, tuna salad. But you can put it on top of your hot dogs, brats, burgers, pulled pork. Slaw has been really busy the past two years, gaining popularity nationwide. Julie admits the success is not typical of any business in the food industry. Uh, we've been very fortunate uh, that within two years we're in over 5,000 stores nationwide, which is sort of unheard of and, and probably grabbed the attention of Shark Tank. With Sloss's current success, one may wonder why choose to dive into the Shark Tank? The opportunity for that awareness and that exposure is great, but at the same time you have an opportunity to get a fantastic partner. Julie recorded this YouTube video a month after taping her segment in Los Angeles. It was her opportunity to talk about how she prepared for the show. You know, uh, I did find out a little, a few days before which sharks I was pitching to. Um, to be honest, I was a little disappointed Barbara Corcoran wasn't in that group because she was really the one of, of all of them that really has more experience at a CPG grocery industry kind of item. She also took it as an opportunity to address the concerns of her fans and speak candidly about what was left off of the final edit. Lori Grenier flipped out over our spicy. Um, I mean, not only did she clean off her plate, but she cleaned off Robert's and she was getting ready to go for Kevin's as well. But it just got left out of the edit. Regardless of the final say from the Sharks, Julie is overwhelmed with all of the local and national support. Obviously, we didn't get the Sharks to invest, but um, we, you know, we've gotten so much support from America and so many people reaching out saying, how can we help you? And we have an Indiegogo campaign, which is a crowdfunding campaign, and um, we're trying to raise $25,000 so we can expand our line. Don't be surprised if one day soon you encounter a Slasa covered dish. Over 7 billion hot dogs are sold just between Memorial Day and Labor Day, and tell me a few of those can't be Slasa dogs. I'm going to dive in and try one of these. Perfect for Thanksgiving. Perfect for your tailgate. Wow, it actually is really good. Want to find some slots of your own? Locally, um, we are in the produce section of all Lowe's Foods. We're in the relish aisle of uh, Food Lion, uh, Publix, Ingles, uh, and then also we do Lettuce Carry, so that's the Charlotte Online, and then uh, we're in like Reed's Fine Foods and uh, 7th Street Market and uh, the Peach Stand. Yeah.